What's up guys, Lewis here and welcome back to another YouTube video today and today we're going to be looking at the all new Audi A6 in S-Line spec um, in Florex silver with 19 inch alloys. This is sort of a big step up from the predecessor. Um, it's sort of in sort of the same bracket as like the A7, the A8. It's got the sort of same sort of grill, um, sort of light format and interior, which we'll get onto in a bit as well. My first opinion of this car is very, very nice. Um, before, I don't think I could ever see myself owning an A6, um, but after seeing this one, um, I think I'd definitely, definitely um, consider one. So this car is a step above the A4 um, and the A7 is sort of a step above this one, I'd say, um, pricing range. Um, this starts from sort of about mid to high 30s, depending on the spec. Um, this one we've got here is, I believe, about 41, 42K. Um, might be a bit more, actually. Um, but yeah, it's got a few options inside, which we'll get into. We've got their Matrix LED headlights um, standard on this car. Um, these are the daytime running lights you do get. Instead of the traditional sort of one line, um, it has been sort of broken up into three, which gives the headlights a really, really nice effect, I think. And I think Audi have done really well there. The shoes on this car, as I said, we've got their 19 inch alloys. Um, they've sort of got, got gray inserts in the middle. Uh, if you can see, sort of diamond cut. Um, sort of five spoke twin alloys, they are really nice and really suit this car, especially with this colour. I'm not normally a fan of silver cars, but this does look really good. Um, we've got their sort of intakes at the bottom here and here. I mean, that's what you get with the S Land package, it just makes it look a bit more aggressive. And you do notice these two bulging lines on the bonnet, um, which had a very nice touch to the car. So, coming onto the side of the car now. So we've got some interesting lines. We've got a line from the bonnet, which goes all the way across to the back. And it's sort of cut off here as well to lead around the back. Then we've got sort of a nice sort of indentation at the bottom, which gives the car a nice sort of soft look, soft but yet aggressive look. Now coming onto the rear quarter, you see the lines sort of do carry on around here. We've got a chrome, finish here on the back that go into the headlights which are really nice we do have the love or hate fake exhaust here um, they're not actually functional that's why I do call them the fake exhaust the exhaust are actually underneath I don't know if you'll see there um, and you'll notice that this is the 40 TDI so this means um, that the engine is pushing out 205 brake horsepower from a two litre diesel. Um, so a very efficient car, probably the most efficient engine you can get in the range. You can get a Quattro, uh, but this one isn't the Quattro one, which saves you a bit more money and gives you a bit more, um, a bit more efficiency, but of course trading for performance. And yeah, the people who sort of buy this car, I'd say it's quite a family slash sort of business car. Um, so what we can do, we can pop the boot, I'll show you what the boot looks like. Yeah, excuse the stuff in there. But as you can see, it is quite a big boot. Um, you've got golf clubs in there easily, trainers, bag, and still a lot more room in there also. I'm quite surprised it doesn't have an electric closing boot, actually. Um, it is a manual closing one. I'm not sure if you'll be able to spec that or not with sort of a package, but on this one, we do have the manual sort of close. We're going to the rear seats also. So yeah, this you do have the two-tone, which Audi, uh, Audi are quite sort of into this really. They believe this is the best sort of for wear and tear and etc. And to be honest, I think it's quite good because you don't get too hot in the 
in the summer and the seats aren't too cold in the winter. It's a nice sort of balance. Um, you've got the leather where you need it and sort of the Alcantara fabric where you need it as well. Quite a big space in here. You could fit comfortably in there. Uh, three people as well. With a good amount of headroom also. Round to the passenger side, they're introduced by the S inlays there. Um, nice smart door as well. Then from sitting in here, you've just remind yourself you're in an Audi with your Audi badge that you've got here, I believe, and sort of nice air vents as well. Um, but where it's all happening is the driver's side, so let's get around there and show you that. So into the cabin now of the new A6. Uh, we do have a nice round steering wheel here. Um, very very nice steering wheel um, nice fit around the hand um, you've also got sort of the indentations here for extra grip you've got sort of a, a nice shape which Audi are following throughout all their brands you find the steering wheel on the, a lot of the new cars um, and you've got S logo here down at the bottom as well you do have the virtual cockpit um, which is famous for Audi which you can just it's just brilliant. It's probably the best thing you can uh, sort of specify in an Audi, really. It just does work a treat. Very easy to use. As you can see, you've got two views there. And then you can also control your music. And you've got your fuel. And just general driving data, really. I tend to just leave it on maps and just drive like that. I think that's really good. Um, what else does this car have? So you've got your nice sort of... Uh, headlight controls there, nice easy to use. Then of course we've got the all new sort of touch control that Audi have implemented in their cars now. Um, so you've got a screen here which is touch screen, very very easy to use and responsive. That is called adaptive feedback I believe, which is similar to the Samsung phones. Then here we've got our air conditioning displays at the bottom as well. And then as you can see your keypad comes up here. It's quite good and you can also draw as well to get these instructions out of the way so yeah you can sort of say look um say a a b b c c yeah it's very um easy to use um definitely definitely a well sort of thought out thing from audi um at the start when i was driving cars with this here it was sort of taking my eyes off the road because i was used to having the sort of normal swivel wheel here um but yeah it's just now it's fine, it does work a treat, and having the free screens is just wicked. Um, and by not having sort of the MMI control here, you does free up a lot of space. So they've just given you sort of two nice large cup holders, a place for your key fob, um, sort of cigarette lighter, sort of power output. And you've also got a very nice, probably the nicest gear shifter, um, or gear selector really, um, that in probably out of all the cars, I think, it's just really easy to use, you sort of just flick down, flick up, put your part brake there. And then you've got another favorite feature of mine, you've got the auto handbrake, um, which literally just saves you, gives you a foot of rest from putting on the brake when in traffic as well. Then as we have the tech pack, we do have the wireless charging um, unit here. So if you just leave your phone there, your phone will charge pretty quickly. And then we do have sort of your, your SIM slots, um, your SD card and two USB ports as well. Yeah, so you've got this sort of gloss piano black finish here, which is pretty nice as well. And um, yeah, overall, it's just a very nice place to be in. I could do long journeys in this and I can see myself with this car, to be honest. And we'll see, yeah, let's start the engine up. Here's a diesel, so don't, I'm not gonna give you no engine sounds because it's a bit pointless. You don't really buy that car for this. But yeah, let's take a look at the engine sound. So yeah, while it's idolizing, of course you do know you're in a diesel. Um, the petrol is quieter. They do do a petrol version, which is a bit quicker, a bit more juicy, but also a bit more expensive. Um, but it's not a silly lorry noise. Like you don't sound like you're in a, um, don't sound like you're in a bloody Tesco delivery van or something like that. It's a very sort of calm noise, calm sort of tone as well. If I rev the car, it almost doesn't sound like a diesel. Obviously I know it, it, it does, but it, it, it does have sort of that petrol feel to it. It's very smooth and you can just really feel the turbo diesel sort of sort of wheeling up, um, which gives this car the torque that it needs. All right, so let's step out now. Turn the engine off. 
Oh, yeah, I think we also have. Sorry, let me turn the engine back on there. We also have reversing camera. And I'm pointing this out because the reversing camera is so, so clear compared to the predecessor. Um, you do really get a nice view and nice clear image of what's behind you. And then this works a treat as well. Just in the different sections, we'll show you where the obstacles are to make parking a lot more easier. And I believe you can sort of opt for sort of a park system plus where you get the bird's eye view and all of that and it can park itself etc um, and then yeah you've got your simple drive select buttons here efficiency come for auto dynamic and individual you show you for instance individual so you can click your drive system as efficiency whilst maybe you have your steering on dynamic so you still get that sporty feel whilst saving energy um, but we'll just leave it on balanced for standard settings Alright. Oh yeah, and also I have to mention the doors sort of have a nice feel to them when you do open. When you do open them, it's like a you don't have to pull the handle all the way, you sort of just click it out and the doors open. The same when you're inside and you're um pulling that handle as well. It's sort of a nice feel. Right, so that has been the, uh, the all new Audi A6. Um I haven't seen one on the road yet. Um so yeah, I've I've been driving this one around and it's um first one I've seen you do get some um, looks I'll tell you that uh, just people looking just appreciating the car really um, but yeah I think it will be a popular car on the road uh, big market for this this type of car even though we've seen the SUV sort of market booming this is sort of a good quite a good market niche market as well um, but yeah that's been the all new Audi A6 if you do want to see any videos or any more videos or have any questions on this car um, just go to the comments below and if you just also leave your opinion on the car, I do read all my comments. Um, yeah, maybe we have a discussion about the car down below. And also don't forget to enter my um, 100 subscriber giveaway. So when I'm reaching 100 subscribers and you have liked my video, which is the first vlog on my Audi A3. So like the video, leave a comment on, on uh, what keyring you want, because that's what I'm offering. So we have a S-Line keyring and a M power keyring. Um, so yeah, like the video, leave a comment on what you want, and subscribe. And when I hit 100 subscribers, I will pick it, be picking one person from the comment section and send two people actually, and send out a tiering each. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. That's been Lewis, and I'm out.